fighters missed that 155 mark, but commission okayed it. All good, equal on the age. Let's go inside for our official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, your opening contest brought to you by OnlyFans is scheduled for three rounds of the Fury Amateur Series Lightweight Division. Introducing your first competitor, fighting out of the blue corner. This mixed martial artist stands five feet, 10 inches tall, and he weighed in at 158 pounds. Fighting out of Tonkawa, Oklahoma, he holds an amateur record of two wins, two losses. This is Jimmy, the Enforcer Series. And introducing his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. This freestyle fighter stands six feet one inch tall, and he weighed in officially at 158.8 pounds. Fighting out of Oak Mulkey, Oklahoma, he holds an amateur record of two wins, only one defeat. This is Michael Simmons. Your referee in charge of the action, Kevin Nix. All right, blue gloves for Siri and red for Simmons. Ooh, nice kicks to open up. I apologize to the uh, official inside. I didn't catch his name. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know all of the Oklahoma officials yet. Yeah, in Texas, we can uh, we can look at them and give them a little wink. And uh, out here, they may kick us out of the venue. So immediately, Siri has decided he did not want to strike much more. Landed a couple good leg kicks and then went in for a takedown. And so far, looking really good control-wise. Not doing a lot of damage from the top right now but you can see he's trying to position his head to get you know to kind of get squared off where he can get some punches going very nice pulling away from the cage as i always say if you are an amateur and you do have hopes of making this your career start your instagram page put information up there so we can learn a little bit about you so i i believe this is the same jimmy siri uh, but he did wrestle growing up, and like most kids in Oklahoma, you probably did wrestle because of the, the culture here and just the, just the incredible background and history of wrestling in the state. Yeah, this, uh, you know, Oklahoma and the UFC is just littered with uh, Oklahoma State products, especially uh, that is, you know, Oklahoma State, Purdue. We have quite a few here on our roster also. Very nice reversal there. Michael Simmons on top now. Let's see what he can do. They basically just traded positions. Yeah, I was hoping here in Tulsa we would have some, you know, there, there'd be some people in the crowd that, uh, you know, would look at this wrestling and think maybe they could compete in here uh, at this level eventually. Nice armbar transition here. Has that arm, but Simmons is holding on for dear life. What do you think, Michael? Yeah, that's really, he's got a good angle on it. He's lost the angle now, and, it, and uh, Simmons did a good job of kind of posturing up and also keeping his elbow in tight to his hip. You know, you can change that to a crooked arm bar uh, whenever they do that, and it's devastating. There's not much time to tap. There's not, that's a lot of injuries happen from that. Yes, yes. 20 seconds left in round one. Very nice. Simmons takes the back here. He's got about 15 seconds. So on a fresh fighter, you need about eight seconds to finish a rear naked choke before they just can't take any more. They go to sleep. He's got that very, very Ooh, tight. That is in. This may be very close. Oh, he let go. Decided to just take the round. Hey, good work for Michael Simmons after a good start for Jimmy Siri. Yeah, Jimmy Siri comes in early with the takedown. You know, they exchange, they both exchange, land nice kicks. Uh, and then Siri, you know, took one and decided he, didn't, he did not want to play that game anymore. Goes in for a nice little double leg takedown, ends up getting down, gets reversed. And then that's kind of where they spent the rest of the round. You know, it's kind of half and half. And I think Simmons uh, creating the more of the damage between the two. But yeah, you see good control here. And then we see this kind of hip up, 
crawls around the cage and kind of does a cage walk, 100% legal. Didn't use his toes to grab anything, didn't grab anything with the, you know, entering the cage. So completely legal, uses that cage to sweep. Beautiful use of the cage. Nice round for Simmons. Nice start for Siri, nice round for Simmons. Round two, Kevin Nix inside the cage, our official. And doing a great job so far. One round, one good showing by Kevin Nix. Yeah. <laughs> I think we always have really good rounds by all of our officials. Almost every round. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and here we go, Simmons now Ooh. with a with a Kimura attempt here. He's got to get down a little closer to the elbow. It's going to be very, very difficult to extend that arm. And you see, uh, Sears doing the right thing. He's kind of got that arm straight until he's kind of climbing up toward that arm. You want to close the distance between your hip and that elbow whenever somebody's trying to get a Kimura. You want to keep that reach as long as possible. And there he goes, that sweep again. The top, that reversal from Simmons. And now he's got the arm of Siri. Still has that grip in pretty nicely, Michael. What does it need to do to finish this? So he's got to take that elbow to his chest, and he's got to use his core to kind of dictate where that arm goes. You don't want uh, to kind of use arm strength to arm strength. You want to use your big muscles against their smaller muscles. So in other words, you get a grip, you get it tight, get it in up against your body, and then once you do that, you control that arm. Especially, you know, you're not allowed to grab the shorts. You can grab your own glove, you can grab your own hand, but that really doesn't dictate where that's going to go. And now Simmons in the full mount. Siri has some trouble here. We had a quick glimpse at the ground and pound at the end of round one, so we'll see if Simmons has that in his bag, what he can do. But now opting to get the back and that right arm going across the neck of Siri. Back into mount, good transition here, some ground and pound. Yeah, Big punch is coming in. Yeah, they're not going to let this go very much longer. Ooh, Simmons got to be careful. Ooh, that's a very, that's very close to Kevin the back of the head. It. What a finish by Michael Simmons. Gets his third amateur win. Yeah, Michael Simmons showing there, you know, staying out of trouble when he was on the bottom, got taken down twice, and it really looked like he didn't fight it that hard. It looked like he felt something on the, the first time they went down, felt like he could get that reversal again. It was almost identical. And then this time, once he got to the top, you know, he, was, uh, he had that killer instinct and was ready to get this fight over with. See, Siri goes in with kind of a half-hearted flying knee there. Uh, and he, you know, really was just setting up a, uh, a, a takedown. And then, you know, Simmons able to get the Kimura from the, you know, the control positions of Siri and then went to the mount. And then, you know, once you see a fighter that's not really, he's not defending, he's not trying to get out anymore. Simmons getting very, very close to hitting the back of the head there. But Simmons getting the job done. Round two, nice finish against a good opponent, good wrestler. Good experience for both of those guys. Good way to get us going here at Fury FC 79. Let's give some love to Michael Simmons' gym, Thunder Kick, training out of there. Saw his coaches there earlier. Got to give them some love. Let's make this thing official and head inside. Here is Wayne Leggett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kevin Nix calls for a stop to the action. One minute, 52 seconds until round number two. Declaring your winner by TKO, Michael Simmons. All right, congratulations to Michael Simmons. Moves that record to three and one. We've got one more amateur fight coming your way before we get three pro fights. Let's meet our next fighter.